wasn't that I was purposely denying being Asian American. I think it was just very subliminal that I didn't want to go to Chinese school. I didn't want to learn the cultural dances that I had to learn every Sunday. Um, I wanted to do everything that was almost anti-Asian, right? I felt like as if I've always been reminded that I don't belong. And I think that it is, has been a lifelong struggle in that way because it changes your perception of oneself and changes your perception of, of identity. I didn't realize though what I was doing was hurting myself in the long run. Struggle with the term Asian American or Filipino American. Um, I've always felt that there's a duality inside of that term that I think really affected me growing up in the country where I never quite felt fully Filipino, I never quite felt fully American, and in that conflict um, is where I sort of resided. Of course, there's always, in my opinion, some prejudice when you're from another country or you're a different color. It's just like animals, when you smell different or you're from a different clan, they don't treat you as well. There was shame of being Asian, being different, um, and there was, there still is some shame, you know, uh, stuff I'm working through as now a, you know, 42 year old. I had shame, I was not comfortable in my own skin. I wanted to fit in, so a lot of times I would join a lot of sports or different clubs in school just to fit in and just to be normal. It still happens. It happens all the time where you are faced with different situations that make you question if you belong or that you are worth anything and why am I one of the only ones? But my father always said, work hard now, play later. Um, and I never really understood that, but um, I saw how hard they had to work extra because they were Chinese. They always had to prove themselves more. Um, and I, I, I saw the payoff of that, but I also you know, think to myself, why? Why should you have to work more just because of the color of my skin? As an Asian American, you have to strive harder, strive more, and then to maybe get equal um, uh, treatment. All immigrant groups need to say, this is the jobs we are creating, this is the culture we're bringing. We are making, making our society a more worldly and a more uh, compa compassionate society uh, by just being here every day. Just because there's still not that many billboards or commercials that look like me or us doesn't mean that we are not beautiful and that we don't have a part of history here in the United States, in America. You know, and, and if you look back at the history of what Chinese Americans did for this country and the Transcontinental Railroad, I mean, that's a blurb in the encyclopedia. No, that should be, you know, a whole study. America is making an effort to integrate all the different people, and only, you see that in America, and, and I appreciate that. And no, I'm glad that I made, made it uh, to come to America here. The main thing about why the United States is one of the best countries in the world is that it takes the best of all these different uh, countries and, 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 and it kind of fuses them into a, a, a fantastic country that really doesn't exist anywhere else in the world. Um, and now that I'm older though, I actually look at that from more of a fusion perspective where instead of looking at them as being disconnected, I look at those terms um, and those labels as being more fused together. So I feel like a, a, a fusion version of the two cultures now, now that I'm older. Once I was able to feel self-worth, I would say, that's when I knew that being different was a strength for me. I'm proud to be an Asian American and we should celebrate being Asian American. Being Asian American uh, to me means um, really seeing the world from a different colored lens 
and um, really learning to accept who I am, accept my heritage while moving through the city, uh, through this world, um, knowing that there's a lot of uh, discrimination, but there's also a lot of love for uh, my culture. As we have seen uh, in today's society, you know, the ones with the loud voices get recognized and for a reason, you know, but as Asian Americans, we, we tend to just try to keep everything, you know, level. Well, there comes a time where you have to say, not anymore. I value what I stand for. I value who I am. And what I have to say is important. This experience of life is so magical. And when you can see it through the lens of the amazing cultures that we come from and all the history and intelligence and stories and love that it empowers us more versus being ashamed of it.